Hey guys, it's Christina of Crafty Paws. I thought I'd come on today and share a really quick DIY home decor kind of project. This was so much fun to do. I saw this originally on Blitzy Crafts. I, then I went on to Pinterest and saw that lots of folks customize these really inexpensive cork trivets from Ikea. They come through to a package and they're about $3. What I decided to do was print out on my computer some silhouettes that looked like my dogs. This is supposed to be Bandito, and this one is supposed to be Biscuit. She's a mini poodle. And what I did was I took these reverse, I forget what they're called, like they're spring-loaded scissors, which are really sharp. And these are great for fussy cutting and great for folks with arthritis because it's just it's pushing down instead of pushing out. So I love these fussy cutting scissors. And then for some of the more detailed areas like Bandito's tail, I used an X-Acto knife to get into those little crevices. And that's it. I printed out the images from my computer. I will share a little tip with you guys. I printed it out in gray so that I wouldn't use up all my black ink. And then it was just as easy to cut out. Once it cures fully, which should take like 24 hours, it's dry already then they'll be ready to use. And because this texture is so rough and absorbent, I think the paint will really seep into this. And even if it does wear away over time, I'm not too worried about it because it can have like a distressed kind of shabby chic look. So for this third trivet, I used the positive image to create a mask. And then I laid that down and did the stenciling around that. So it's the reverse of the other two trivets there where I use the negative image and stenciled in. I think I do like this version more. So what I might do is cover this all in white and then do a little combo one where Biscuit and Bandito are sitting together <laughs> like they are on my avatar. What follows is a quick little tutorial on how, uh, how to do the stenciling so that you don't get any seepage underneath the image. So I'm using plain white acrylic paint. It's a Craftsmart brand from Michaels. And these stenciling brushes, it's a natural bristle brush from Deco Arts, the Americana brand. And I'm just taping down the stencil that I hand cut with some washi tape just to make sure that it's secure on to the cork trivet. I'm using a pouncing technique here, but I think because the texture of the cork is so rough, it's leaving a lot of the natural cork exposed and I wanted a more solid image. So I changed the technique of stenciling in a little bit, but as you can see here, I'm just trying to be very careful about not getting underneath the stencil and I am using very thin coats of the acrylic paint. Here, now you see me switch over to kind of a flicking technique and I'm making sure because my image, the edges of the image uh, are on the outside, I am flicking from the paper to the cork. So it's in that direction toward the inside of the image rather than going out. Unfortunately, some of the bristles are coming off of the stenciling brush, so I'm picking those out as I go along, but it generally gives great coverage. And then the moment of truth. Pulling off the stencil, and look how cute that came out! Now for this next trivet, I'm using the positive image to create a mask, and to adhere it down just so it doesn't move around while I'm doing the stenciling, I'm going to use a little ATG tape and make sure that I get all of the kind of pieces that are sticking out <laughs> from the image. And I do the same thing, but now the opposite direction. So again, I'm moving from the paper to the cork, flicking out from the center of the image toward the outside edges of the trivet. So as you watch me kind of just paint over the rest of the trivet, I thought I would give you a few alternate suggestions for making this personalized gift 
for hostess gifts or a housewarming present or a baby shower. You could do a silhouette of a child or even like a monogram or something. There's so many ideas and it's a great personalized inexpensive gift. And again, the moment of truth, removing the mask, and there's the little poodle. Didn't she come out sweet? If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful crafty day.